thousands of years, people have gazed into the night sky with wonder and awe. One man's now bringing his vision of the final frontier right here to Cleveland. Christopher Curtis had a simple idea. The genesis of the design came from two scrap pieces of uh, glass that a glass artist had abandoned. And uh, I started putting them together and gee, they, they fit together. Those pieces then became Curtis's inspiration for that place in the stars. It's unique in this way. Rarely does an artist have the capability with the truck and crane or the time or the patron who can tolerate it either. For the last two years, Curtis and an arts patron from Tulsa, Oklahoma, teamed up to design the piece. Now it's going on a 1500 mile tour. Well, a lot of people ask me like, what were you thinking? <laughs> and it just seemed like a good idea at the time. It'll travel from Curtis's hometown of Stowe, Vermont to the patron's home. And Cleveland was always a place he wanted it to be. My perception of Cleveland, it is an unknown uh, jewel of the intellectual world, including the art world. And if, if you look at Wade Oval, here's the proof. Fantastic world-class museums and a beautiful setting. And the pride of the citizens is really evident here. Looks good, right? That sculpture is on display right now on the Wade Oval stage in University Circle. Curtis will remove that piece tomorrow afternoon, though, and he moves on with his trip. Next stop, the Cincinnati Observatory coming up on Friday. Oh, man, that was a quick stop. Very